Welcome back to DBL. From the country stage to the television screen, Jennifer Nettles always gives a powerhouse performance, and she's celebrating the release of her brand new album, Always Like New, which comes out today. We caught up with her earlier in today's Chatting with the Stars. Jennifer Nettles, welcome to DBL. We are so excited to talk to you. Congrats, first off, Mazel Tov on the new album, Always Like New. Now, it's been called uh, genre defying, and I want to know what you mean about that, and what are you most excited about with this album? This album for me is such a joy. It has been a long time coming. It is classics. It's some current contemporary pieces as well from some shows you might know, like Hamilton and Dear Evan Hansen yeah. and, and Bridges to Madison County. Um, but it also has some of the classics too that we all know and love, re envisioned, reimagined, and rearranged. Needless to say, I'm quite verbose and excited about this project. Good word, verbose. I, I, I can always tell, just like before we even got started on the interview, a little behind the scenes, you and Tori just connected just like with really theater, like her. theater yeah. kid energy. Yeah, there's musical like. theater kid. <laughs> theater kid energy, it's yes, just I love it. It's true, it's it is true. There. You honored Linda Martell with the CMT Equal Play Award, which you won last year. She was the first black female solo artist to perform at the Grand Ole Opry. So do you think modern country Country music has done enough to support people of color. No. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. I do not believe that they have. I do not believe that so far, as when we can look at the numbers, you know, and what they are, um, that, that the country community has done enough to support people of color within that industry. No, but that is an opportunity. That is an opportunity for us. That is an opportunity for people of color who I know love country music because I hear it all the time in my yes. fans, okay? And I see it all the time in the diversity of those fans. So I, I believe that, that it is a wonderful opportunity and a big, big space for growth. You have a solo album and your band Sugarland has done some exciting collabs but none more exciting than, uh, what's her name, Taylor Swift? <laughs> yeah. So can you give us the inside scoop? Like what you, like what surprised you most about her? Interestingly enough, though there is an age difference between myself and Taylor, not much. No, um, don't believe it. <laughs> we actually came into the scene at the same time. She is absolutely as genuine and as hardworking and as talented as everybody knows. Out of the studio and onto the screen, The Righteous mm -hmm. Gemstones is a hilarious comedy about fairly deplorable people. I love that show, but we've got to know the behind the scenes of your character's death scene. How did you keep perfectly still while they destroyed the room all around you? Okay, that was probably the most acting that I've ever really had to do, <laughs> Being which completely was still. keeping a straight face as much as I could during that death scene. Yeah, I can't very much. I mean, I can't even imagine. It's a Danny McBride hilarity, and you have to be completely straight face. That's amazing. Good well, job on you. You did a well done. Well deserved. Well deserved. All right, DBL Nation, do not miss Jennifer's. Thank you for the ability not to laugh during a hilarious moment. It goes to Miss Nettles. That's right. Do not miss Jennifer's new album of songbook classics. I will be getting it immediately. Always like new. Jennifer Nettles, I feel like kind of your sister. Is that weird? You're not. I know. Thank you so much for stopping by. We really appreciate it. Thanks. We'll be right back.